guys, it's Elizabeth from Elizabeth Books, and I'm here today to do the song title book tag. So let's get started. Number one is Guns and Roses, November Rain. Pick a book with a sad slash tragic ending. I'm gonna go with Allegiant by Veronica Roth, and y'all know why. You all know why. Number two is Queen, another one by Sadust. Pick a book which had a lot of killing in it. And besides The Hunger Games, which I don't own, I'm going to go with The Assassin's Blade by Sarah J. Moss because she an assassin and she's going to get you. Mm -hmm. Number three is Britney Spears. Oops, I did it again. Oops. Pick a book you read more than twice. I'm going to go with Dreamland by Sarah Dessen. I don't even know how very many times I've read this. A lot. I've read, a, I've read her books a lot of times. A lot of times. But this one's my absolute favorite one, so I'm pretty sure I've read this one probably the most out of all of her books. Number four is Pink Floyd, Wish You Were Here, your currently most anticipated book. And that's going to be A Red Queen by Victoria Octave? Is that her name? Something like that. It is something like that. And I am super excited for that book. I want to read it really bad. I don't own it. But I'll hopefully get it soon, and I'm excited for that one. I'm so excited for a lot of other books, too, though. Like, a lot of books. Everything comes out on, like, May 5th, I'm pretty sure. That's, like, my day of, like, all the books I have to buy. There's, like, seven of them, and I'm going to be poor, but I need them. And, yeah. Number five, Florence and the Machine, No Light, No Light. Pick a book that was just so bad you'd like to lock it away in a dark corner and never look at it ever again. Okay, well, there's a few for me. There's, like, Beauty Queens by Libba Bray. I absolutely hated that book. I just read, um, Guy in Real Life by Steve, like, something, B, it started with a B, and it was pretty bad. I really, really did not like that one. I didn't like Codename Verity. I have no idea who wrote that. Oh, yeah, there's a few. There's a few I just absolutely hate, and I power through every book I read, and I really shouldn't if I hate it. But I wanted to give it, like, an honest rating without not finishing it, so I always try to finish them, even if I hate them. Number six is Skylar Grey, Final Warning. Pick a book with a kick-ass protagonist you would not want to piss off. I'm going to go with Hermione, because she would get you if you make her mad. She gets Ron, and Draco, and everybody. Like, don't make her mad. She will kill you, and it's true. I'm going to go with that. Number seven is My Chemical Romance, I'm Not Okay. Pick a book that deals with a hard topic like loss or bullying. I'm going to go at 13 Reasons Why by Jay Asher. Deals with suicide and because of, there's like rape, there's depression, there's um, self-harm, there's bullying, there's a lot of deep things in this book um, and it's a really, really good book. It it's just so sad. It's such a sad book, but it's so good, and I read it, like, every year. I don't know. I really love it, but it's so sad. And number eight is Lincoln Park, Breaking the Habit. Pick a book you read which was outside of your usual comfort zone, but you yet you still enjoyed reading. I'm going to go with Shadow and Bone by Lee Bardugo. I just, like, thought I would hate this book. I don't really know why, because... I think I told myself I hated fantasy, but I've read a lot of fantasy this past year in 2014, and I loved almost all of it. So I think I just picked up this book thinking like, oh, I'm going to hate, absolutely hate it. But I really, really, really loved it. Like, I loved it a lot, and I can't wait to read the second and third one. So yeah, I'm really glad I picked it up, even though I thought I wouldn't like it. And the number nine is Troy Sivan, Happy Little Pill. Pick a book that makes you happy. And I'm going to go with Lola and the Boy Next Door by Stephanie Perkins. This one is just so cute and it makes me so happy. And I just love her books and this one's my absolute favorite of them. This one is amazing. And finally, number 10 is Lady Hawk, Dusk Till Dawn. Pick a book you read in one night slash sitting. And I've read a lot of books in like one sitting. That's how I usually read books unless I have like four started at once, which I do right here beautiful. But um, I'm just going to go with Divergent by Veronica Roth because I'm pretty sure when this came out I was just like what is this book and I just like sat there in a coffee shop and like read it for three hours and finished it. Like 
I think I read it before work too and I was just like, you must finish it before work and I think I did like right before work and I don't know, I really liked it. It was very good. And yeah guys, that was the song title book tag. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye guys.